I hate our same our same Marseille Martin. Marseille Martin. If someone says her name, I roll my eyes. If I see her on my feed, I immediately scroll. And I hate her for the same reason I hate Olivia Rodrigo, Millie Bobby Brown, Aiden Gallagher. Because I'm also 18. So how dare you be more successful than me? I want to do something like impressive, something that forces people to notice me. I want to be, I want recognition for something. So when I was trying to come up with what to do for this year, that's all that's been on my mind. What do I do to get that? So then I started thinking, what made Marseille Martin so successful? Okay, yes, that obviously, but you know why else? Is that stupid movie? The youngest executive producer in Hollywood history. You've executive produced this film, Little. The movie's called Little. It opens in theaters on April 12th. Look, I watched Little when it came out, and it was objectively bad. It, j it just wasn't very good, but she made it when she was 14. So obviously, that's still a feat no matter what. And I, I have to do something like that. Uh, but obviously, I am not Marseille Martin. I'm, I'm not, I'm not pretty. I don't have money. And sure, maybe I don't know Anthony Anderson, but I do know one thing. I can make a better movie than that. Probably. Again, I don't have money. So here's the plan. I have two ideas for two documentaries I want to make this year. The first idea I talked about in this video. Hey, you want to be in a documentary? All right, so here's my pitch. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and this is like the time in my life where I'm supposed to be like doing things. Like, uh, I graduated from high school this year. Uh, everybody I know is like at college, they're all trying to get their degree. And I feel like I'm doing okay with all that other stuff, but socially, I think I'm lacking. I don't go out on the weekends, and other than this type of thing, I don't really post on social media that much. I feel like since everyone is online, you are so painfully aware of what everyone else is doing that you aren't. Put social experiences on a timeline, I feel like I'm here, and my peers are there, and I can't bridge the gap. I was thinking about this last night, and I was like, that would be a cool documentary thing. Something short, but I thought it'd be nice. If you do, and you would be down for me to like ask you some questions, uh, message me, and I'll try to respond. Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you think you fit in for something like this. Don't be expecting like Sundance level like film production or anything, but still. Really, that's just a short one. I, do, I just want to see what it's like to the process of making one because I have a bigger idea I really want to tackle. I feel like we get overloaded with how much stuff happens in a year, good and bad. And weirdly enough, I don't think we have enough time to process it all and really think about it. So I want to explore that. How do we process the passing of time? How much can we really take in in a year? How can we mindfully experience time and memories without getting sucked into them and glued to the past? Really just how do we process a year of life? And mixed in with that, I also want to document my life throughout the entire year. Uh, how am I doing that? Good question. Hold on. With this camera that I bought a year ago and take a picture every day for th every day of the year said every day twice so today is the third so i have taken three pictures so far i took one of you guys actually when i was setting up my camera for this video don't you all look pretty one picture a day i'm gonna print that picture out and by the end i should have like a giant mural on my wall just full of 365 photos representing my year i i, I just it, it's, it's kind of a vague idea for now but it it seems cool to me i i like it i think it sounds cool so how do you get to be a part of this? Simple. I have no idea what I'm doing. I need people to interview. Uh, if you've done something like this before, help and advice would be very useful. So here's what I'm going to do. This email. Contact me. I'm going to try and reply to as many as I can. Just tell me, you know, about yourself. Introduce yourself. Uh, tell me, give me advice. Tell me about yourself. Tell me why you would want to be interviewed or something. I don't know. Maybe you can give me a quote. I can quote and then I like put your name on the screen and quote you know what a quote is just just tell me why you're interested in this and why you think you'd be a good fit and be a part of it and whatnot also um i'm gonna do my best but i can't interview like 200 people if that's what happens so just don't don't get mad just please okay like but yeah i'll do what i can and i would actually like to hear from you so do it so in conclusion, we're going to have a great year. Uh, feel free to email me. And most importantly, I have a very intense one-sided rivalry with Marseille Martin.
thank you for coming to my TED talk. Also, if you like the video, then like the video and subscribe because please uh, watch one of these if that's your forte and uh, goodbye. I'll see you uh, at some point.